All right, we are here with sit-ups today. So we've been talking, we talked about squats, we've done push-ups, we're gonna talk about sit-ups. And I would have to say this is probably the most important uh, body weight movement that you need to make sure you can do. Sit-ups are that movement that tells you if you can't sit up, you're not gonna be able to get up eventually. So we need to make sure we maintain core strength as we get older, as we start to uh, get older because that's what keeps us upright and that is also what gets us up. So without core, we can't get up. So a sit-up has a whole bunch of different moving parts into it. It's not just those short little sit-ups like we see in you know, aerobics or at the YMCA kind of thing. Crunches are only part of a sit-up and it's very similar to the squats and the push-ups. When we squat, we go all the way down, we come all the way up. When we push up, we go all the way down, we come all the way up sit-ups we have to go all the way down and we have to sit all the way up if we only practice those little crunchy movements we still can't get up and if you want to keep your body erect and standing up and not be this person that's walking like this because their core is giving way or their shoulders are sloping forward your core has to be part of what you do on a regular basis so sit-ups are a fundamental movement we do them all the time in here and we're going to talk about what a good sit-up looks like and then how you can help yourself get to that good sit-up. So we're going to go on the floor. So with a sit-up, we have to go full range of motion. People hear me say that all the time in here. All the way down, all the way up, or full range of motion. So we're going to go all the way down, which means, so go all the way down, his shoulders are going to come to the ground. So he's not going halfway down, he's going all the way down, and then he's going to come all the way up. Right now, his legs are straight, so that would be harder. That's a hard sit-up. And then the thing that I look for is that his shoulders come in front of his hips. So he's sat all the way up. A half sit-up, so if he goes all the way down, and then he only comes up a little ways, that's not a full range of motion sit-up. So if he only goes to here, like do like five like half little sit-ups for me. Even less than that. He's not getting all the way up. So he's missing a lot of it, thank you. So sit-ups, they hit our core, they hit our hips, they hit our glutes, and they hit our lower back. So this is my core, all of this. So to do that, I have to make sure I have full range of motion, otherwise I miss part of it. I'm not gonna get down in my hips, I'm not gonna get down in my lower back, and so then I'm missing part of it and you're not gonna get that full sit-up. So he first showed us sit-ups with straight legs. If that's too hard, which in here we don't necessarily do straight leg, I let people keep their knees slightly bent. So he's gonna show you three slightly bent sit-ups. So his knees have slightly bent, which allows him to use his hips a little bit more. But he's gonna come all the way up, past, pair, or past his hips, all the way down, past his hips, all the way down, past his hips. Good. The one thing I don't like people to do is bring their knees all the way in. So it helps a little bit in terms of getting up. So he's gonna sit up, but if you can see, he can't get up. He can't get all the way up, so his shoulders can't get in front of his hips, so then he's not doing a full range. So I don't let people go up with their knees like that, but let's say you get on the floor and you're like, all right, I'm gonna do a sit up, and you're like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. I cannot do a sit up, and that's not uncommon. It's really not. Um, so then we have to figure out how am I gonna do a sit up. If you have somebody at home, they can, so bring your knees up just a bit. So they can step on your feet and then step and you can sit up. And this will help you dramatically because now you've got that sort of base. Somebody's holding your feet down and you've got something to push against and that will help you sit up. So then that's, you can have that if somebody needs to do that. The next thing, let's say you've got nobody at home with you, then just find something. So again, we don't have a couch or anything to tap our feet underneath but your couch, your coffee table, something like that in your house that you can tack your feet under that simulates somebody stepping on your feet and then you can do sit-ups that way. Perfect. So then you can do that if you've got nobody at home. What I let people in here do is I'll stand on their feet or I'll put something under their feet for a while, but they don't get to rely on that. So as you get stronger, get that off of there because that's just helping you get up. You wanna be able to get up on your own. So don't just rely on somebody setting, stepping on your feet or tacking your feet under. Once it starts to feel easy, then start to try that out and see, can I sit up all the way without help? Once you can do that, then you start working your way into those full range of motion sit-ups by yourself. All right, there you go.